Oh, uh, go ahead. All right. <coughs> yes, sir. All right, Jerry, thank you very much. Here with head football coach Mark Hilfrich. Uh, first Civil War victory as the head coach. And uh, tell you what, two teams getting after it. It was an exciting one. Congratulations on the win. It was a huge, you know, huge win uh, and a great, a great game. You know, they, they certainly got the better of us in the first half, and a ton of that was was do, their doing, and a ton of it was our doing. Had the, you know, kind of the the, the, the two uh, two turnovers, the, the or two picks and the muff punt, and the, what else went wrong there? The penalty, uh, just a bunch of stuff that, that you know we we can't do in, in situations like that, and and they, uh, you know, we we knew that, that both teams were going to come out emotional. Both ba based on you know our senior day, all that kind of stuff. They're, they're, both of our efforts last week trying to bounce back from that, but we finished. And and uh, we were talking in the middle of the fourth quarter there. How about this is gonna be one you're gonna talk about forever? And it turned into a great finish. Didn't know it was gonna be that 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 uh, tight, but uh, really proud of our effort. Can we play a lot more cleanly? Absolutely. Uh, but especially defensively there in the first half, just just bowed up right when we needed to and 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 finished the game. One of the things that you guys did this game that it, it has been a little bit of trouble the last two or three is you started quick. Quick start, got in rhythm, a couple of touchdowns, three scores on your first three drives, and then things kind of changed. All of a sudden, that rhythm went away a little bit. Yeah, and, and part of that, you know, again, you have to give them credit. Um, maybe, maybe we'll try to start fast next time. I don't know. But, um, yeah, just for whatever reason, kind of got out of sync. Got a couple of tackles for, for losses there, uh, there in the, the first next couple drives, had the turnovers. Uh, but you know, again, that's a great. It's a great rivalry. Those guys brought it, and uh, it was a, it was a really good call for both of them. And you talked about it. A couple of self-inflicted wounds, if you want to call it that. The fumble punt return, and then running into the kicker that kept Oregon State around. But uh, again, your team responded, which is exactly what you wanted to see them do. Absolutely, absolutely. We knew we knew it was going to be a battle, and and you know, <laughs> great great prediction on my part. We knew we had to take care of the ball. We had three turnovers in the first half, um, and and. Just, just again, a, a lot of things that, that we could have, could have, would have, should have done, done differently, but they happened. It's a zero-zero game at halftime, and you finish the finish the game. One of the things Oregon State did uh, to keep you a little bit off balance is they ran the ball pretty well, which made it tough on your defense. They did, they did, and again, that was something that we anticipated. Uh, kind of their same thing that they did to, to Arizona State and a couple of opponents in their little three tight end uh, package, uh, and they did a good job of it. Um, and again, that's where we need to. to Adapt and adjust and do a couple things differently. Tackle a little bit better, um, but yeah, they did a nice job of that. I don't know what the time of possession was, but I'm sure it was offset. And yet, uh, your team ran it very well too. I mean, uh, you look at Thomas Tyner goes 22 carries, 140 yards, his first one. And it, you know, as a freshman, pretty darn good in the Civil War game. DeAnthony gets 88. Josh Huff, his last game here at Autzen Stadium, huge game, nine catches, 186 yards. Three touchdowns came up with big play after big play when you really needed it. He did. He did. He's a guy that's obviously had a much maligned season in, in, in some in some circles, and and really great for him to go out in, in that style. And our, our our whole senior group, it's an incredible incredible group of guys, uh, and for them to go out like this with a win first and foremost, but in, in, in that fashion will be again something they'll never forget. And when your defense had to make the final stop, the final stop is exactly what they made. <laughs> exactly how you draw it up. Right? Get the ball <laughs> skipping around out there, and hopefully, hopefully that kid's okay. They, they got dinged up there on the final play, but uh, yeah, just a, a great game. And again, give them a ton of credit. They played really hard, and and, and uh, you know, again, so do our guys. Ten and two. Um, now it's wait and see time. Uh, what now? Uh, what now? We we've got recruits in. We go to the banquet and then hit the road recruiting. Our, our players need to finish up solid in the in the classroom. You know, finish finish strong that way. Next couple weeks. And we'll be kind of in and out recruiting here for the next two weeks uh, and then get ready for wherever we end up. But the way you want to end the season is with a win in the Civil War. Uh, great, tremendous victory in a, in, a, in a very entertaining game tonight, Coach. Uh, congratulations. Thanks for your time with us. We'll look forward to talking to you here soon. Sounds great. Thanks, Jordan. All right, Jerry, back Taylor up to you. Hart, Thomas Tyner, both in the interview rooms. Any questions Thanks. for Coach Helfrich? Right here in the middle. Hey Mark, uh, did you let them score? <laughs> give yourself time on the clock. Yes. <clears throat> no. Um, no, it's, it's hilarious you say that, but that's that's how it turned out. I, I was sitting there having a little internal debate and talking to a couple of the other coaches on the headsets of all right, if it gets to this and this and this down, this and this down, this is, and they scored, and I said perfect. You know, we get more time. And so as it as it turned out, 
it was it was just the right time to misalign. Corona, Tyner, and um, Hart are in there. Anyone want to talk to them? Next question. Right here. No, we've got another one. about the morale and the heart of your team after a win like this now going into December and getting ready to play in a, in a bowl game? The heart, the heart of this football team I would never ever put in question. The morale, um, you know, morale is one of those things, I, it's a kind of a huge word. Um, these guys love to play football. That's why, again, the, you know, when we talk about the Arizona loss, uh, a very uncharacteristic performance, and like I told you last week, you can put that 100% on me. Those guys, um, especially this group of seniors, are just an unbelievably great group of guys. Um, and the, the morale going forward, this will be a great, great little break for us right here to, to get a healthy mind, body, and spirit and, and get ready to rock wherever we end up. In the back, Warren. Mark, that last drive by Marcus, is that something that you guys, you talk about working in sessions and practice? Is that one of the, did it go as scripted? And talk about Marcus's play in that last drive. Well, yeah, Marcus. Marcus had a couple, a couple obviously glitches on the on the interceptions, and and there are kind of plays where he was trying to throw the guy to run the right route. That's very difficult to do, you know. And that's where you just have to kind of throw it away and and talk to him. Um, uh, and just it was a route adjustment kind of thing that he was trying to do. But again, you talk about heart, character, and tough. That's that's Marcus to a T. And and just again did a great job on the sideline. Coaching up the offensive guys, leading the leading the team, talking to the defense, and and leaving no doubt that you know whatever happened, we were going to end up in a, in a in a good place. Another one in the back, Mark. How important was the defensive stand on their two two point conversions to keep you at least in striking distance? Huge, you know, huge, and that it keeps you in striking distance. And, and depends on obviously the time of the game, but can could be a field goal game, could be you know not just it just changes things a little bit. Um, but yeah, our, our defense I thought played really hard for the most part. Again, did we do everything perfect? No, and and that's where again in a win we'll go back and evaluate that stuff and and try to try to fix the fix the stuff that needs fixing and and, and do more of the stuff that's good. Victor, Mark, can you describe a little bit what it was like just at the end because you haven't really played in both games and your head coach is rarely not at both times. Um, what was it like? Um, you know, you try to go back to, to exactly what it's like in practice. You know, we do that that type of situation literally every day, um, both from, you know, and it's just different scenarios every day of, of you're up by a touchdown, field goal, this much time, that much, whatever it is, no timeouts, two, two or three. Um, and our guys, our guys, it was a great, it was a great feeling in the huddle looking those guys square in the eye and you had a bunch of just wide-eyed guys looking right back at you ready to, ready to go. Uh, and, you know, just give them a ton of credit for, for executing that situation. Uh, and, and yeah, big. In the back, Jake. Mark, what does it mean to you on a personal level for Josh Huff to play the way he did in his final game here at Austin Stadium, uh, coming up with a game winning touchdown and three touchdowns on the 200 yard receiver? Well, yeah, I think he, he um, had a, you know, something to prove, so to speak, of, of had a couple rough, rough games and, and obviously said a couple things that, that he wishes he would have said differently. Um, but again, that whole that whole senior group, I, I, I was it was like a jab jab right cross left cross. I don't, I don't know how you box, but when you know hitting Taylor Hart, what all the H's, all the H's, Haynes, Hart, Hawkins, Huff, all came you know came at me in that senior day introduction. That's a lot of again a lot of great great memories, and th those guys are just incredible incredible contributions in many different ways to to this program. And and uh, yeah, he's he is he, you know. Ended, ended it the right way. Any more? Right here. You guys had a tough month. And when you look back at the end of the season in this last month, what, what was different about you guys? Because you had to struggle today to win this game. Early in the season, you were humming. Well, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of factors that go into that. Um, <laughs> how long do you have? Uh, you know, of... of and for many different reasons, you know, today we were a little bit shorthanded for for various reasons, um, and and those guys that were out there played their hearts out, and and uh, again, the, the, our our guys' standard is very different from everybody else. Somebody was talking earlier. If 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 Arkansas would have beat LSU, that would have just proven how deep the SEC was, right? If we if we lose to somebody, it's we need to blow up our program, and and somewhere in between is the reality of that. We're going to look at this exactly like a 
every other game and, and again try to fix fix what needs to be fixed uh, and, and, and improve upon what we do well. Um, but yeah, there's are there things offensively, defensively, and special teams that we would like to get better at? Absolutely. Would, we, would I like to coach better? Absolutely. Dior Mathis is in the room. Any more questions right here? He's fast. I want to get there. Hey, Mark, congratulations on a great first season. Uh, from the southern end of the state, you know, you built up the fan base pretty big to take over the head coaching job up here. Have you felt some of that love from, from the Central Coast and from the southern region where you came from? Yeah, it's it's awesome to, to talk to, you know, friends and family in, in, in southern Oregon and, and uh, Jackson County, you know, representing. But uh, just... You know, in this game, we'll, we'll, it, it, pretty soon this game will become a what, like a 52 to five victory or something in that in that realm uh, in Coos Bay and in, in Medford Nation. But yeah, just a ton of great people that, that I can have, have had the good fortune to stay in contact with for a long time. Lauren, Mark, uh, how much play calling did you do in the second half? Any at all, and, and maybe Frost. talk about yeah. talk about how how Scotty did uh, in, in his play calling. Yeah, again, you know my theory on that. He called all the good ones, and I called all the bad ones. And our players executed all the good ones. But you know, all, all that stuff again. We'll we'll we'll, uh, uh, we'll go back and talk about what we would have, could have, should have done differently. More of, less of, in the in the coming months. Right here, back here. Marcus is waiting, so we want to wrap this up. <coughs> One more question, Coach. Ooh, double mic. Oh, let's go back and hear you ask the question. Um, <laughs> in any way, does your team benefit more from a game like this and had you guys won by 30 or 40? Um, I think, you, you know, you learn some things about some people. We had uh, two guys suspended today. Eric Dargan and Troy Hill were both suspended for a violation of team rules. And, and the guys that stepped up, you found out about. And the guys that, that you know, looked their teammates in the eye, you found out about. Um, and so in that regard... The, you know these are these are fun ones. They're not much fun in that locker room. And again, you should give them a ton of, ton of credit for playing a great game. Um, and I've been in that locker room, and I know what that's like. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, to a certain extent, <laughs> it's it's not 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 as much fun as early, but we'll take it. Thanks, coach. All right, guys. Thank you. Books.